here we are uh, with the Reichert Ocular Response Analyzer. Uh, this is a machine that measures corneal biomechanical properties, hysteresis, as well as intraocular pressure. So Madeline, come on forward. Uh, I'm going to just press the button. The machine will guide itself onto the eye and use an air jet to measure the pressure and hysteresis, and it has done so. We've had a number of prospective longitudinal studies recently that have helped us um, understand the role of hysteresis. And what we've learned most importantly is that hysteresis is uh, predictive of worsening glaucoma in people with an established diagnosis and progression from glaucoma suspect to glaucoma in those uh, who are glaucoma suspects. I use this information because it might push me over the edge in terms of when to treat a glaucoma suspect. It may help me monitor someone with established glaucoma more carefully or escalate therapy in patients where the risk uh, is a little bit on the high side. We also get an IOPG measurement, which is a Goldman correlated intraocular pressure measurement. I've studied this. It does indeed correlate with Goldman applination tonometry. And this happens to the extent that these measurements are interchangeable in my practice. So if a patient has been measured with Goldman on the previous four visits and now I'm using the ocular response analyzer, I'll use those values interchangeably. So this is clinically useful information. Um, we have the machine here. My technicians measure it. One of the things I like is it's not, um, it's not dependent on who's measuring it. You push a button and you get the measurement. So uh, I can feel comfortable that I'm getting reliable measurements no matter who's working. Uh, I don't need to recheck them. And uh, you know, ultimately this works well in patient flow, works well in my practice, and gives me information that uh, helps me adjust my patient risk assessment with each visit uh, as I follow these glaucoma patients moving forward.